Kata for Knee Creations Tutorials. Today we're going to be making this 21 inch moon moon catcher. The materials you'll need to make this moon catcher are 1 kilogram of natural, 30 metres of pink and 30 metres of mustard in 4 millimetre single ply string. You'll also need some thick thread and beads. You'll also need a 21 inch moon hoop. If you purchase the DIY kit version of this moon catcher, you'll have everything you need in the kit. All you will need is your scissors and a glue gun. So I hope you like this tutorial and other than that, let's get into it. For your first step, get your moon hoop shape and your four millimeter natural cord. And what we're gonna do is we're going to tie it on. Just an overhand knot, just a single one, not a double. And then we're going to wrap the cord around the moon hoop shape. And just make sure when you get to this stage, can you see that all these are going diagonally? Well, on this side, they're all straight. And how I'm doing that is, when I'm wrapping it, I'm pushing it up. So I wrap. and then I'll push these ones up like this so then it stays straight all the way along. So this side looks perfect, this is the side that I'll put forward facing and this is the back. And that's what will happen if you don't keep pushing it up. You want it all straight like this. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be. And then when you come to this stage, you just need to cut that off. And then get your glue gun. So when you've heated your glue gun up, put a line of glue just on the tip. Wrap it around the glue. So the times you need to go. Take a step back. And just squeeze it together at oh. to see the truth. And just squeeze it together at the end there. From a right to the end, then cut these ends off. And then glue them down. I just use like the nose of the glue gun to kind of pop them down because I don't want to use my finger because it's boiling hot. There you go, that's that. I'll do the same on this side. Just take that knot off first.
and that's that end done doop, doop. and now we're going to do the web so now to attach the web we just get our thick thread and we tie it around the top of our moon just in a normal overhand knot three or four times just to make sure it's very secure and then cut that end off there not too close so it doesn't unravel and then I'm going to measure six centimetres so measure six centimetres from where, the, where you've tied it on and then we go let me show you this so I'm going to measure I've measured me six centimetres to there you go around the back and through that loop there so you've gone through this loop and then just pull tight again around the back and then you're going to go through that loop there make sure every time it's six centimetres if you can do it by eye like me that's fine if not you can measure six centimetres on a piece of cardboard and use that so we're going round the back and through the loop you've made so what you do is you kind of keep I pull this out so it stays out here and then I go round of this and then that's created my loop here to go through and you just carry on doing that So when you've come right to the end here, you've tied your last one, me here, I'm just going to do a double one in the same place. So I'll go around again in the same place and go through this loop here, just to keep it tight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back on ourselves, going through each segment that you've made. So each segment, like this one here, we're going to go through. So pull it out and pop your thick thread through. And the next one. This is why you shouldn't pull too tight because if it's too tight, you won't be able to pull the, cord, the thick thread out. Make sure you're going through every single one all the way around. Then when you come to this side again, go around the exact same place that you started and through. So I'm going to go around and then through and do that twice. Just like you're tying it off. I'm going to do that three times because we're going to cut this off and add some beads now. So I'll cut that. Now we're going to thread some beads. I'm going to start with one of the small natural and then a large natural. Small natural. And another small natural. you should have them like this so one small natural then one large then two small natural one large and so on and so forth so just make sure you add your beads to your thick thread like this so you should have five big natural beads and two four six eight ten small natural beads 
and then we're going to add it to the hoop just as you did before you're just going to tie it on tie it on in the original place we always tie it on in the same place until you feel like it's secure and now we're going to go through these segments oh now we're going to go through these segments here so you pull that out and you just go through and you don't really worry about your beads we've got a bit of glue there and just keep pulling it through Then tie it on a couple of times. Leave that on. I'm just going to show you how to move your beads up. So just literally thread them through like this a few at a time. And you can do them in any pattern you like. You can always move your beads as well. So don't worry if they, you don't feel like they're in the exact right place because later on we will move them again, tweak them because you can always move your beads and there we go, I've put them in groups of three as you can see so now get your thick thread again and we're going to go backwards so I'm now we're going to open up this segment and pop it through there so you just basically you just ignore the beads and just keep going through Ooh, each segment. Just keep tie off again and then go back. Make sure you're going through every segment. And then go back again. So cut that off. So after the beads you should have one, two, three more lines of the web. And now we're going to thread more beads. So again I've added the exact same amount of beads in the exact same pattern as before. And I'm going to add them just as we did before. Just tie it on. segments two more times so do two more rolls so when you've done them two more lines tie it off I'm gonna tie it off four times here And cut. There we have a moon shape ready to have macrame on. Now we're going to tie on a little loop at the top. So we'll cut some of your natural cord and then pull a few fibres out. Now you might want to cut this off at the end if you wanted to just hang it directly from the moon, but this helps you put the macrame on. So just pop it round and then just tie. About halfway round the top. It's just going to help you secure it to the wall so you can macrame on the bottom. And then cut. And there we go. So first, 
pop your moon on the wall or wherever it is you're going to be making it and then add 10 two meter lengths to the bottom here so go through and pull so let me show you a bit slower so we go round the back round the front part and through and we add all of the cords that way Now add, oops, now add another five to this side, right on the edge of, or on the tip of the moon, you're going to add five more. you measure and it should be about 19 to 20 centimeters from each gap and now we're going to do the center pattern next we're going to do a square knot on these cords to the left so how we do that is we take these ones as our filler cords we go in front with our right one here and under the left one and then this one comes behind and through this loop here and pull up then we go back the opposite way so now this one comes in front of the two filler cords and this one goes behind and through that loop do the same with these four cords here so take your filler cords which will be these two in the center and this one on the right we'll go in front and under the left one the left one goes right around the back and through this loop here then we go the opposite way so this cord now goes in front of these two and this cord goes up this cord goes over that right under everything and through this loop so that's how we do the square knot now we're going to measure down eight centimeters and we're going to do another square knot. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Just make sure that they are the same size. Yep. And then go down another eight centimeters. And do another square knot. On both sides. Now, now we're going to do the same as what, as what we just did but we're going to do it with these cords here, these four cords and the same on this side so we're going to do a square knot just like we did before then measure down 8 centimetres do your next square knot measure down another 8 centimetres do another square knot and do the same on the other side now we're going to tie them together so grab these two cords to the right of this one and these two cords to the left of this one and bring them together like this and do a square knot with the four cords 
So two from this one and two from this one here on the left and two from here on this one on the right. And we're going to put the two chords as the filler chords and then these chords as the tying chords. So it's just the normal square knot. And the same on the other side. Now in the middle section here, we're going to do the double half hitch. So part them into two groups of six like this. Grab the cord here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. The sixth cord in. And then get the cord directly to the left of it. And go round. And we're going to do a half hitch and then a double half hitch. I'll show you again in slow mo I'll show you again slower. So we'll get this next chord now along. We go round the top, round the back, but make sure you don't go to the other side of it, make sure you go to the inner side. And again, and pull up. Try again with the next one. And then with this side, do the same thing. So get the six sixth chord along from the right just literally wrapping it right twice and then pulling it up Just make sure as you're doing it that you're going in the same diagonal direction. So it's like a triangle like that. Can you see? Now what we're going to do is get the four chords from one from each side, so one from each diagonal line. We're going to do a square knot. Just make sure it lines up with these two here. So make sure it lines up with the bottom of these and do a square knot. Then we're going to do the bottom of this diamond shape. So grab this cord here that was inside all these double half hitch knots. Get the next cord along and wrap round. But this time we're changing direction. So your cord will be going that way. The next one. So whichever way this cord is facing, you feel the cord, is the way your double half hitch knots will go. So make sure that you only take two chords from the bottom of this square knot because the rest is going to be for the opposite side. So make sure these two on the left are going to be in this diagonal line. So now grab your filler cord from this side and wrap it with the next one. So you're wrapping with this one. Make sure you turn in your filler cord so that it's going into the inner direction. And 
And then when you get to the bottom there, just do a normal overhand knot like this. So it just sits nicely. Now I'm just going to add 140 centimeter lengths to the bases here. And I will insert below here how many you need. So I'm just gonna do that doing reverse Lark's head on this cord here, which is the bottom cord. We're just gonna do reverse Lark's head. And add all your lengths doing that knot. Added 16 140 centimeter lengths, eight to each side. You're then going to take 10 120 centimeter lengths and add five to each side using the reverse lark head knot. Now grab 10 100 centimetre lengths and you're going to add 5 to each side on this bit here. And then grab 10 60 centimetre lengths, 5 to each side, so 5 on this side, 5 on the other side. And that's your first layer done. Now grab eight two meter lengths in mustard and add them around halfway, halfway through this gap. So four to each side, two meter lengths, eight in total. This will be in your second colour, your first colour natural and then my second colour is mustard and then just make sure it's the same length so I'm going to measure I've got about six centimetres, six, seven centimetres. I just need to move this one up a little bit. So it's about six and a half centimetres. Now I'm going to add my pink lengths, one to each side of the mustard. So it's four in total, they're two metres long, so two metres, one. each side of the mustard, so you're almost framing that mustard colour. So 
So they're two metre lengths, four in total, two to each, well, one to each side of the mustard. Now I'm going to add square knots to these new lengths that we've added, the mustard and the pink, so just a normal square knot. And then I'm going to do a decrease in square knot pattern, so grab the two underneath this one here and two underneath the middle one and do another square knot. Again, two from underneath there, two from underneath this left one. And then one in between these two, just take two from underneath the left square knot and two from underneath the right and then do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And then we're going to frame the pattern doing a double half hitch. So take the very end cord as your filler cord and wrap it with the next one along. So round and round, just like we did before in the centre. But this time you're going to frame this triangle pattern here. Same on the other side. Then what we're going to do is take this cord and we're going to carry on doing half hitch knots down here diagonally. So I'll grab this pink cord and do a double half hitch knot. But remember you're going this way now. So whichever way the filler cord is going is the way the knots will flow. And now we're going to turn and go back this way. So grab the pink cord you just did. And you're going to do another square, another. So grab the pink cord you've just used. And we're going to go around again, but this time make sure the cord's going this way diagonally. And do a double half hitch knot. You see now you've turned.
and we're going to keep going. With all the cords, we're going to put all the cords into this one. And then keep going back the other way now. Make sure you don't miss any cords out. I've missed this cord out, so now I have to go back. By going back, you just pull the cord out of the knots. And then you have to start again. Just on that one section. Then we're going diagonally back. same pattern but on the opposite side. So now I'll just do it the opposite way, grab this filler cord here and then wrap it with this one. Too horizontal of your diagonal line. and then go back the opposite way. So when you've done your two 
So when you've done your two sides, bring your two cords, pink cords that you've used as your filler cords, into the centre and do an overhand knot, a double overhand knot. And that should bring both patterns into the centre like that. So now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. What we're going to do is, we're going to do a square knot of these four middle cords here from the centre of this pattern. We're just going to do a normal square knot. And then we're going to do another square knot below it with the two to the left of that square knot and then the two cords coming down here. We're going to do another square knot that sits just under that first square knot and we're going to do the same on the opposite side if you can see do the same again two cords from here and two from underneath the pattern and then just keep doing that until you've used all the cords and you're making kind of a triangle pattern all the way down And once you've done that, bring two cords from the left and the two cords to the right, bring them into the middle, and then do another square knot. That should bring it all together like that. Then get one metre of your natural and do a wrap knot. So how we do a wrap knot is, I'll show you. So now we're going to do a wrap knot at the bottom of this pattern. So how we do that is we put a length like this. So I'm using one metre of natural here. You have a short end there, and then the long end here. Just hold it like that, like a loop, around all the cords that we're going to wrap together, which is all the cords from this pattern. Now we can take this cord and wrap it. Hold it with your thumb here, and wrap around the whole And you'll see that cord will start to hold it all in place. Pin. Then when you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wraps, pop it through the loop. And then pull this down. Then when it's in, pull the top one. Give it a bit of a jig, make sure it's all in place, nice and tight. Grab your scissors, cut top and the bottom, and then tuck them little ends in. Now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So we're going to start adding some more lengths to this cord here, this pink cord. We're going to add some lengths to that. 
in natural one meter so one meter chords in natural add using reverse locks head knot Do three to each side and then add one meter lengths of mustard. So you've done three one meter lengths to each side and then you add in two mustard to each side. in one meter lengths and grab some pink one meter lengths four to each side Fours each side. Now add two more mustard. Now again, add three more natural to each side. Now we're going along the, this pink cord here at the side. Two more mustard. To each side. All these are one meter lengths, every single one. Four pink one meter lengths to each side.
and then one mustard. And then again, add your natural. Three to each side. And then your pink, three to each side. Now for the square knot button knot, so we're going back to this centre pattern here, grab the two cords that are coming off this here, so you put these on in reverse lark's head, that's the first four cords, and we're going to do a square knot about two centimetres down, so make sure you leave about two centimetres here. And then just do a normal square knot. And then directly under that do another square knot. And then one more. And then these cords here, which are your filler cords, pop them through the middle here. That's why you've left that space so you can pop them through like this. Can you see now? The two filler cords are going through that little hole there. And then you should have these two cords that kind of like lay at the sides. Use them now to tie around these filler cords like the top of a square knot. So it's just like you're doing half a square knot. So just like this. And this cord goes through the back. So it's just half a square knot to secure that in. And that's one of your button knots. Now do the same with the next four cords. Two centimetres. We do one square knot. Two square knot. Three square knot. Then we get the filler cords. We pull these apart them through the middle that creates our square knot then we secure with half a square knot we pull up and there we go that's our two sometimes they're called rose knots button knots on that side now we're going to do the same on the other side One more on each side. Then I'm going to take these cords right on the edge here. You should have three right on the edge. And we're going to do a normal plait. So I'll take two cords, two cords, two cords like this, I'm going to do the plait with them, so each time you're going under the centre two cords, under the centre two cords, and this one goes under that, it's 
just a simple braid so every time you go under the one in the centre so now this is the one in the centre this one goes under that now this one goes under that one we'll just keep braiding down until the braid can reach this knot here this wrap knot you've made So when it can reach that quite comfortably, that's done. Now do the other side. So bring them to the centre. Just so it's under that other wrap knot, get a metre of pink cord. And then do another wrap knot like we showed you before. So you've got one short and one long. And you've got a loop at the top. Hold it with your thumb. Take the long cord and wrap round everything. And then pop it through this loop here, the cord, and pull this short cord down until that cord has gone in. Make sure any cords that are popping out get tucked right in. Pull both cords then when it's in, not too tight, just give it a little tug until it feels secure. And then we cut the ends as close as we can without cutting anything else and then tuck them in. Now, if you've got any braid that's still showing, unravel that braid. So then these just flow down like that. And then what we're going to do now is tuck these behind this one. So pull these cords forward so they sit in front. Now we're going to tidy up these ends. So any bits that look like they're a bit too straggly, we're just going to cut them off. A good way to cut the ends is to grab three from each side, bring them to the middle and then cut them to the same length. Then grab the next three, bring them to the middle, cut them both a bit longer. Just makes it feel a bit neater. The next three, cut them, and these longer ones here, we're going to bring them to the middle. 